Oftentimes, an exciting fighter will be on the come up. They catch fans' attention and it leaves us wanting to see more. But sometimes, for whatever reason, they fade away as quickly as they emerged without explanation. And the strangest and most unexplained example in recent years of a rising heavyweight dropping off the boxing map is Rotislav Plechko. The Russian nightmare, as he's known, turned pro in 2016, and within two years he had 13 fights under his belt, all wins, all first round stoppages. He was turning heads. He was being tabbed as a fighter to watch because of his all-action style, trying to knock opponents out with every single punch. He was featuring in highlight videos, he was getting mentions across the internet, forums, and generally his profile was on the up, and people wanted to see more, even if he was largely an unknown quantity who'd faced relatively low-level opposition, as most prospects do. But as quickly as his star was starting to grow internationally, he went dark. After August 2016, no more fights were scheduled, despite initial statements from Plechko himself that he would be back in the ring soon. 2019 rolls around, still nothing on the fight front, although he remained active on social media, often attending public events and being in the public eye in his homeland. In May 2019, he was still posting numerous training videos, even posting footage of a sparring session with China's unbeaten heavyweight Zhili Zhang. In that footage, Plechko is doing what Plechko does, throwing an array of shots, but most of which Zhang was catching or avoiding with ease. But it was a signal that he was still fit, he was active, and seemingly intent to continue his career. After all, you don't spar a top 50 heavyweight for no reason. You want the benefit of the work and presumably it would help him grow, learn and prepare for an eventual fight. In June 2019, he did somewhat address his status as a fighter. Posting to Instagram, there were still, as he put it, lots of questions about my boxing career. Keep the answers. That vague reference hardly cleared up the questions that fans had and were clearly asking him on his social media platforms, which he was regularly posting to, but often it was activities not related to boxing. It would lead some to speculate at the time if he'd gone into full playboy mode, enjoying the trappings of fame as a professional boxer. Others speculated though that he'd gone into full Tyson Fury mode, left the sport altogether. But nobody could really say for sure. Nobody could really say what was going on, especially given some of the earlier assurances that he did intend to resume his career. Months later, Plechko would again address boxing fans on the issue of his career, saying in September 2019, I know that there will be a lot of questions in the comments. When is the next fight? I answer, fights will be and all the fun ahead. That is the last time that Rotislav Plechko posted to his Instagram account, adding further mystery to his situation. All we are left with now, nearly two years on from his last fight and 10 months on from his last social media post, is the question, what happened to Rotislav Plechko? What happened to his career? An obvious place to start is potential promotional issues, which has seen boxers in the past sidelined for extended periods. Or perhaps he has been dealing with a long-term injury of some description. Another explanation may be that he's lost the love and motivation for the sport. But whatever the case, it is a baffling situation. And in the age of the internet and social media, there is surprisingly little available to explain what has happened. And even less since he stopped posting to his once active Instagram account, which has over 400,000 followers. Maybe Plechko will re-emerge, or perhaps he will remain an enigma. An enigma with a promising start to his career, who knocked out 13 opponents in the first round. But for now, he's the disappearing man. He's what Tony Bellew said he wanted to do.
Another heavyweight worth mentioning in this video is Trevor Bryan, the 20-0 American who won the WBA's interim heavyweight title in August 2018. That was against BJ Flores, a fight which was not televised, but in which Flores was down several times before the fight was stopped in the fourth round. Bryan has not fought since. But for most fans, he's still an unknown quantity, as he'd been fighting in relative obscurity off TV during his career, and ahead of that title fight, he'd fought three journeymen who collectively had 77 losses. So that created a situation where most fans, even those who follow the sport closely, don't really know what to make of Trevor Bryan, and has almost at two years of inactivity since hasn't exactly helped illuminate anyone on how good he really is. The complete absence from the ring has never been explained by Bryan or his promoter Don King. But from time to time, Brian has posted cryptic messages on a social media like this one from July 2019, in which he says, when they sleep on you, but you know your future is about to be lit. Ultimately, Brian would not fight in all of 2019. There was, however, talk that he would fight at the back end of that year in Africa to coincide with the 45th anniversary of the Rumble in the Jungle. But Don King's so-called epic quest for peace between Cha and Brian, it did not materialize. Brian, though, he did emerge from the shadows in early 2020 to call out Tyson Fury and the rest of the heavyweight division. Tyson Fury, put the Coca-Cola down, man. Come back over the ocean, man. Celebration, no, no time for celebration right now. After I get this WBA belt, let's go ahead and unify these belts, man. All you other heavyweights, it's green light. It's time, it's ready to go, the dream is here. It's time to go, man. It's belt season, strap, let's go. Baby. Let's go. For some, that was the first time that they'd heard Trevor Bryan's voice, given he'd virtually been a ghost in the boxing world since winning his interim WBA title. Ahead of the pandemic, Brian and Cha again were meant to fight. There was a purse bid. It was won by Don King. Manuel Cha said to get about $2 million. But obviously boxing had been placed on hold due to the pandemic. Another opportunity for Brian to fight someone cancelled. So what has been behind Brian's inactivity since 2018, it's unclear. But because of his thin resume, the way that he fell into fighting a former cruiserweight for an interim belt that no one was calling for, it has made Trevor Bryan somewhat of an enigma in his own right. And arguably, he's still most well known for Jarrell Miller trash talking him on social media rather than anything that he's actually achieved in the ring. Stay tuned, the heavyweight champion of the world. Come on, baby. And just before I go, I did consider including Manuel Cha at some length in this video, but decided against it because some of his issues have been more visible than Plechko or Brian. For example, he was meant to face Frizzakendo, but there were issues negotiating, and then a purse bid was called, a fight was called off, and then also he failed a drugs test. And I would clarify here that some people say that he was ex exonerated, but he wasn't. He got off on a technicality. He or someone from his team wasn't present for the opening of the B sample, and the WBA eventually just quietly dropped the matter altogether. And since then, there has been talk of a Trevor Bryan fight, as I mentioned, but obviously nothing has actually happened to this point. He's been a title holder in the WBA for two and a half years and never defended the belt once. It's a shocking situation in itself. But what do you make of his situation as well as that of Trevor Bryan and Rotislav Plechko? For me, the Plechko one is the most baffling of the lot due to the scarcity of information.